Excuse me there. Yes, you over there, my dear. Would you come over here and join me for just a moment? I promise I won't take much of your time. I know a busy traveler like you has many adventures to go on. But I would be so grateful if you were to help me for just a moment, my dear. It seems I've got myself in a little bit of a predicament now. A strong and capable nobleman such as you wouldn't mind helping me, would you? Oh, now that's lovely to hear, my dear. Please, this won't take very long. But the quicker we get it over with, the better it'll be. Walk right over where you can see me, my dear. I think that'll make this a little bit more obvious. <laughs> yes, as you can see, there appears to be an orc trap around my foot. That's definitely not how I was hoping my day would go. But alas, I seem to have been a bit careless. Oh well, what can you do about that? Hmm. Now I was merely hoping a strong, capable individual like you would come across me here. I'd just like to be removed from this trap. I believe with both of our strengths combined, we can open it up just enough to get my foot free. Does that sound alright to you? Hmm. Thank you, dear. It is much appreciated. Don't worry. I will compensate you for your time and effort. I know you had to go out of your way to do this. And I certainly wouldn't want to waste your time. <laughs> oh no, I know you have many important goals to accomplish. Certainly a new woman wouldn't come out here for any ordinary event. Hmm. Oh well, we can discuss that later, <laughs> if you want to that is. Will you just help me out of here now? Thank you, dear. Get your hands on that end. But make sure you don't get them caught up in the jaws. I wouldn't want to cripple those arms of yours. <laughs> here. Are you ready? Good. Let's do it. <clears throat> ah. Ah, damn. Finally. Ah, oh, I didn't expect it to hurt that much. I guess my leg has gone numb from being like that for so long. Ah, oh, oh well. Nothing a little bit of magic can't cure up right quick. But, ah, oh, damn it. I appear to have left my supplies at home. Um, dear, would you mind for another thing? If it's not too much trouble from you, of course. Um, I can't exactly walk all that far with my leg in this shape. It would be really appreciated if you could help me out just a little bit. Once again, you'll be compensated more than adequately. Uh, thank you, dear. I promise my cabin's not too far away. It should only take us a matter of minutes to return. But it is greatly appreciated nonetheless. Here, get my shoulder. I'm still well enough to walk on one leg at least. <sighs> Thank you, my dear. It is quite rare these days to find someone as kind as you. Most wouldn't even look my way if they saw me in such a situation. But you're a little bit different, aren't you? Thank you, my dear. I know that stretch of road is quite isolated most of the time. Honestly, it's pure luck that I ran into you at such a time. Who knows how long it would have taken for another to pass by that area and you should have ignored me. Hmm. Anyway, would it be too much of a bother to ask you what a nobleman like yourself is doing all the way out here? It's not often that we have someone travel all the way from the capital to here. You surely must be on quite the important mission. Apologies if I should have interfered with that at all. <laughs> oh, I see. A message run. 
Fascinating. So you're a courier, are you not? I'm sure that's quite the interesting job at some times. You must have all sorts of stories, don't you? Ah, I understand, but I won't make you get into them right now. <laughs> You've already done more than enough for me, dear. Just getting me above that trap was above and beyond duty. But this, even better. Please, once we reach my home, I invite you to stay if you'd like. I know the trip to where you're going can be quite a few days, and it is starting to get a little bit dark around here. It would truly be the least that I can do for all the help you've given me tonight. Hmm. Well, we'll just see when we get there, alright? I certainly wouldn't want to pressure you either way. Yeah, <sighs> apologies for my missteps. I think I lost more blood than I realized back there. Ah, it's alright. I'm merely feeling a little bit lightheaded. Nothing that one of my healing potions can't fix right away. <clears throat> That's correct. As you might have assumed, I'm a magician out here. I've practiced by trade ever since I was a boy. Perhaps I can brew you something as well, just to make your travels a little bit easier on you. Hmm, would you like that, my dear? Lovely. I can make all sorts of speed potions. And combat potions, should you run into any trouble on your journey. Hmm, perfect. Everyone always gives my brews stellar reviews. I'm sure you won't be disappointed, my dear. And that's on top of my regular payment as well. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> now just a little bit further, I can see the lights up ahead. I hope you're not too exhausted after all you've been through today. But, I'm sure a rest is in order still. Please, once we get inside, make yourself at home. I do have quite the cozy living area, you know. <clears throat> ah, thank God. I was beginning to lose hope that I wouldn't see this place before night once more. But then my savior came along. Thank you, my dear. Truly. Now, all that's left is to go up the stairs. And then maybe we can see what sort of reward you deserve. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now the pain's starting to set in a little bit more. Just in time to get back home. Now, open that front door, would you? I never even leave it locked out here since hardly anybody comes by. <sighs> Appreciate it. Home sweet home. Now, relax on the couch if you feel like it. I'm going to fix my wound. This should only take just a few seconds. Hmm, now where did I leave that bottle? Ah, here it is. My top level healing brew. Effective for basically any wound you would ever encounter. <laughs> I'm sure a bottle of this would be quite useful to you as well. Certainly it would make me feel better if I could save you sometime in the future. <laughs> hmm, maybe a variety pack is in order. Yes, that sounds like a lovely idea. Now, allow me to fix myself up, and then we can get to it. <sighs> so much better. Finally, a working leg once more. Now then, your payment, dear, of course. How does 50 gold coins sound? And on top of that, I'll provide you with four of my very best potions. And one extra special one just for you. Does that sound alright with you, my dear? <laughs> Wonderful. Really, I would feel bad if I let you walk out of here without some sort of compensation. <laughs> now, let's see. The coins, of course. That's simple. But the potions... Hmm... 
Let me think for a moment. What would work for a man with a profession such as yourself? Hmm, I have all sorts I can choose from. It just depends on which you want the most. Here, how about this? I'll show you a couple from my collection, and you can choose which ones you want, and which you can leave. Does that sound all right, my dear? Hmm, lovely. Rest assured that my brewing is the finest in all of the land. I'm often contracted by high-up members of the Capitol Army for my brews. That's the kind of quality you can expect. Now, let me see here. Ah, here is one of the finest that I have to offer. A speed potion of sorts. It allows you to move at least 50% faster than any ordinary human would ever be able to. I brewed this just the other day, so you can rest assured of its quality. A solid choice all around, but I also have this, an invisibility potion. It allows you to, well, turn invisible. What more did you expect? <laughs> Quite useful if you ever have to do some sneaking around. <laughs> Maybe you get into a little bit of devious activity. This could certainly come in handy. Yes, I'll make sure to include that. Now, how about a second choice? Hmm. Here I have a regenerative potion. Very similar to the one I just used. Except... This one's even a little bit more potent. It's sure to heal any sort of wound you might face in battle. Could be very useful if you should ever run into some orcs down this way. <laughs> Smart man. You know just what's good for you, don't you? On that note, I also have this one. This will allow you to breathe underwater for short periods of time, yes, but a serviceable amount for any sort of task you may need to complete. <laughs> I was taught how to make this directly from mermaids. Quite useful to have a few friends of that nature. <laughs> Once again, a lovely choice of yours. In fact, why not just include all four? I mean, of course, a man like you needs to be versatile and ready for any situation. Now, I do have one final potion I'd like to give to you. And this one you can even take right now. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit of an enhancer, as some might call it. <laughs> but you are just going to have to trust me on this one, all right? <laughs> no, it's nothing bad, I promise. It's just something that I think suits you quite well. That is, you in particular. I knew I would come across someone like you one of these days. <laughs> That's why I've been saving this one for a very special occasion. And a very special person at that. Now, just sit down. Let me grab it off the top shelf. This one is quite special indeed. <laughs> ah, here we are. Now just relax and make yourself comfortable. I know this is going to be for your benefit, of course. I would never do it 
And if it weren't the case, <laughs> just a little bit of a sip is all you need. Here, I'll pour some into my glass. Hmm, what a beautiful color it is. Deep blue. Fascinating. Now, take a sip and tell me what you think. Uh, this is going to be just perfect for you, dear. I could sense this as soon as I laid eyes upon you. It's just in your personality. <laughs> now go on. Do it. Oh, good boy. Lovely. Now just sit there. The facts will take shape in just a second. And... Lovely is that. You're wearing a dress. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. I always really wanted to know what that one would do. And you, my dear, are the perfect candidate. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Don't freak out. You're still yourself, of course. Just with a few enhancements. Take a look around. I'm quite sure you'll like your new choice of wardrobe. <laughs> oh yes, the frilly skirt. And the thigh highs. Perfect. I can see it now. This is how you've always envisioned yourself, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can just tell these things, my dear. Don't fight it. You look lovely. You always have looked lovely. Now, won't you let me join you for just a bit? I'd like to observe just the effects that this potion has done to you. I've never quite seen anything like it before, but I always needed somebody to test it out on. And you were just too perfect to pass up on. Oh dear, it's okay. You just have to relax. I promise you're going to be just fine here. <clears throat> there you go. You don't need to panic or run all over the place. Oh no, you're fine just sitting there like you are, being all pretty. Such a pretty boy. Pretty boy. <laughs> and you enjoy it too, don't you? You may have acted shocked at first. But really, this is how you've always envisioned yourself. And I'm not just saying that. You really are quite beautiful. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be strange. It's only as strange as you make it. <laughs> Gaslighting? Oh my dear, there's no such thing. Now, just relax. Like I said before, you can stay here for as long as you'd like. You're always welcome. If that's not the case, you're free to leave too. But just know, I know this location better than anybody else around. I see travelers get lost in here all the time. So I probably wouldn't go too far if I was you. <laughs> hmm. But you may do as you please. I'll certainly help you in anything you ask, my dear. Now, maybe we can just sit here for a while and look pretty together. 
<clears throat> that sounds about right. Just relax, my dear. Damn, this one was so weird.